Hey there, you filthy animals. Mr. Dirty back with another episode of the GTM Show. And today we've got another limited time only flavor of Pringles. And this one's supposed to be exclusive to Dollar General stores. This time around they're giving us the Top Ramen chicken flavored Pringles. And there is the canister if you're looking for this in a Dollar General store, is what we're telling us. Now, yeah, okay, on the front we got an illustration of the Pringle going down into the bowl of ramen. We got a little slice of what looks like grilled chicken going on there. All right, so it's Top Ramen, is the, uh, and, and it's Nishin Top Ramen, the company that they chose, where I myself, I grew up eating an awful lot of this. I think this was the company that might have made the um, oodles and noodles. We always had cases of that growing up in the 80s and 90s. Personally, here, I prefer the Marichon flavor. And the reason I like these better, it's a, a flavor difference. They, they taste totally different. Where the, the top ramen from Nishin, the, the ramen itself, the noodles, have a standout flavor. And it seems like no matter what seasoning packet you put in there, it could be chicken, pork, beef, whatever, the same base flavor and the same aftertaste because the noodles have a standout flavor. Where the Marichon, the noodles are practically flavorless on their products here. So whatever the seasoning packet is, that's what you're tasting. And the, the chicken noodle soup, the seasoning packet that they use inside of the Marichon, to me, tastes more like uh, uh, Mrs. Grass's soup. It's slightly more celery heavy. It's not as surly and soury as the ones from the uh, top ramen from Nishin. So when it comes down to the cheap ramen, yeah, I get a bit picky. But Pringles here, they've chosen sides and they've gone with the Nishin. It is what it is. And because of that standout noodle flavor, uh, even though it says chicken on there, we'll be able to tell if they've got it right or not. We'll just pop the top on this, and you see they're still doing the you just don't eat them thing on the top. Don't really care about that. Scent-wise, I'm getting chicken noodle soup off of this. Not exactly top ramen chicken flavor. Doesn't have that scent. You can still smell the Pringle chip itself real strong. And there's your Pringle outside of the can right there. As you can see the seasoning on there, it's a little more yellow than usual. Not like a regular, you know, plain salted Pringle that comes in the red can. This one's got like a, almost looks like a, a curry stain going on. Yeah, outside of the can, it still doesn't smell exactly like Top Ramen. It smells like Campbell's chicken noodle soup. When you first crack that can, Campbell's chicken soup. All right, down the hatch with these. Let's see if they got the flavor right at least. All right, it does taste slightly like the ramen. Not exact. It is leaning heavier towards Campbell chicken noodle soup. These are brand new. They just hit the market. You saw me crack this can open. They're pretty stiff. They seem not, even though they, they don't seem any thicker than a normal Pringle, they're definitely, uh, you know, harder. Got a, a heartier crunch to these. Now, a lot of people are going to taste the seasoning on here. And it's got like that chicken bouillon kind of seasoning going on. Very similar to the packet that comes with the top ramen. And they're going to automatically say, yeah, this tastes exactly like it. But it doesn't. It's not exact. The reason why it's not exact is because it doesn't have that standout cheap noodle flavor that the top ramen has. So at the end of the day, yeah, it just leaves you with a canned chicken noodle flavor. But it's still not bad. You know, I, I, it's not offensive. I wouldn't put this can down. I would keep snacking on these for sure. Uh, not offensive in any way. I'm going to give this a solid 4 out of 5. It's still a pretty tasty chip, and I'd say if you see it, definitely pick it up and give it a try. But um, yeah, as far as top ramen, I think that's grasping for straws. They could easily just repackage this as chicken bouillon cube flavored Pringles and get away with it. I'm Mr. Dirty. This is the GTM Show. Don't forget you can buy knucklehead shirts and hoodies down in the description. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the real Mr. Dirty. And as always, get out of here and go have a rotten day.